Hey guys, I want to introduce you to our soul theme of awareness and acceptance. <laughs> this is really funny. I'm not going to react to the sudden um, pounding noise happening behind me by some builders because I'm going to accept this present moment. This is a very great example of me not going, oh gosh, I can't make this video now and you know, what's going on out there. So remember in the high vibe journey when we went through the law of least effort, a lot of people remember from that video the river analogy more than anything else. But earlier on in that same video, I talk about the law of least effort from the point of view of not fighting against reality, not wishing that things were different from how they are, accepting <laughs> accepting the, the, the present moment for what it is. And I remember uh, I talked about the supermarket analogy and me arrived being at the supermarket, food full of, full of food, trolley full of food, you know the whole story. And the moment that I stopped mentally wishing that things were different and I released and I just went into gratitude about everything that was in my cart that I was grateful for, then things shifted and they opened up more tills and I glided through, remember that part? Well, this theme that we've got going on is um, going to be a really good month to bring extra awareness to when we are mentally fighting against reality and instead bringing about acceptance and that comes through awareness. So being aware of our minds, being aware of when we're agitated and wishing things were different that awareness leading to acceptance. <laughs> lots, of, um, lots of interruptions here to test me on this right now. Um, so I was going to do something, well, I was gonna first of all talk about the, the surrender experiment. If you have not read the surrender experiment and you're curious to read it, this could be a really good book to read this month. Um, the surrender experiment is about Michael Singer and his true story of what happened when he stopped uh, when he just surrendered, he just basically said yes to everything. One of the most impactful parts for me was at the very beginning when he said he just decided to stop judging anything as being good or bad. When you stop judging anything as being good or bad and you just decide that it is, it changes everything. Now, I struggle a little bit with not judging things as good because <laughs> I like good things. I like noticing good things, but I have noticed that I'm not so dependent on things having to be good because I don't mind so much if things aren't. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a good month to uh, read the surrender experiment if that's of interest to you. And um, I was going to do something called the anti-complain campaign. It was something I wanted to do years ago with Project Me and never did it. It's sounding to me a little bit harsh, anti-complain. It's like it's putting attention on what we don't want rather than what we do want. So if I think about what the opposite of anti-complain is, acceptance. So I think we just stick with acceptance. If anyone wants to um, think about it as the anti-complaint campaign, they certainly can. Um, there is a, uh, a little trick that I learned years ago, which is whenever you notice yourself thinking or doing something, you either have a rubber band on your wrist and you snap it every time and you kind of get that, oh, you snap it, or you take one and you move it to the other wrist and you just keep moving it back and forth between the two every time you notice, and it helps you to bring more awareness to it. I'm just putting that out there as an idea in case that helps people who kind of are like, I don't know how I'm gonna to remember to be aware. The other way to be aware is to come into the group, and we're just gonna be having a lot of prompts about awareness and, and about the whole theme of acceptance. So come on to the group for regular, regular updates on that. One of the things that you can do is start to notice when you're complaining about the weather. I don't have to do it so much here in Madrid these days, but if you're in a place, <laughs> if you're in a place where you're kind of like, oh God, the weather, oh, it's raining again or whatever, like really notice that because that is such a prime example of something you can do nothing about. So what's the point of complaining about it, right? So um, yeah, pay attention to those things that you absolutely have zero control over and like just there's no point complaining. And um, 
what else was I going to say? Um, we're going to talk too. Well, let's have conversations about, you know, sometimes we, when, when we're completely surrendering and we're supposed to be accepting everything, does that mean that we're accepting people um, not treating us well? No. Does that mean that we're, we're accepting people, um, you know, not having boundaries and just letting people come in on our boundaries? No. So, you know, it, it's discerning for yourself what the difference is between not just senselessly complaining about something, senselessly um, being non-accepting of things, but when you are choosing to proactively, consciously um, not accept certain behaviors and certain things, okay? So we can just explore that more together. Um, you might want to get your family involved. Maybe you want to tell them about what your theme is this month and see who wants to get involved. I will say that kids, you know, they're not as emotionally um, uh, mature as we are. And so it is very difficult to tell a kid, remember, we're not meant to be complaining this month and call them out on it, you know, because kids, when they're hungry, when they're upset about something, it's a little bit difficult to get them to just surrender and accept but it could be something that you gently begin to tell them what you're doing you know don't call them out on it and make them feel wrong or anything but just share what you're doing and it will help you to be more accountable by your family members as well <laughs> um i'm not even sure if you can hear that i'm laughing because there's a there's a pneumatic drill or something going on behind me that started as soon as i pressed start on the video it wasn't happening before um so i think it's just a really good example of um accepting reality okay so that's it i will love to hear throughout the month how you're doing with awareness and acceptance this month lots of love